Hi viewers, welcome to Shakers Bio Factory for NEET. If you like this video, subscribe my channel and click on bell icon to get notification. In this video, I am going to explain some of the general characters of class Ostrichthys. It belongs to phylum Chordata. The systematic position of class Ostrichthys. It belongs to kingdom Animalia, phylum Chordata, division Gnathostomata and belongs to superclass Physis and it is the name of class is called Ostrichthys. In the name Ostrichthys, it refers that all these fishes having endoskeleton, it is made up of bone tissue. So instead of a cartilaginous tissue, it having bone tissue. So due to having of a bone tissue in their endoskeleton, all Ostrichthys members are popularly known as bony fishes. Some of the examples for Ostrichthys members. They having different category like some of the members belongs to marine habitat like uh, exocetus. It is called flying fish. So they have a uh, wing shaped uh, finds but not useful for flying. With the help of this finds it can jump within water. The second example hippocampus is also called as sea horse. So they have a shape like horse is called sea horse. Some of the members are growing in fresh water. And they are edible in nature like uh, labio is a commonly called rohu katla is called katla and clarius is also called magur so these are the members belongs to ostrichthys growing in fresh water habitat and these are commercially useful to us and all these fishes are edible in nature but some of the fishes belongs to Ostrichthys that are maintained in aquarium like beta is also called as a fighting fish. Pterophyllum is also called angel fish. These are aquarium fishes. So these are the examples of Ostrichthys members. The general characters of Ostrichthys. So in class Ostrichthys it consists of many fishes and these fishes may grow in either marine habitat or in fresh water habitat but the presence of bony endoskeleton is the fundamental character of all ostrichthys members so it is the endoskeleton made up of bone tissue these members also having streamlined body so the body is very long but having two ends with a trap ring. Because of uh, this uh, streamlined body, these fishes can easily swim within water. But in these members, the members having mouth but it is not at a ventral like uh, chondrichthys. So this ostrichthys members having mouth, this is a terminal in position. Presence of terminal mouth is the another important character of Ostrichthys members. So all these Ostrichthys members having four pairs of gills. So these gills are present. These uh, gills are generally covered by one of the covering called operculum on both sides. The members having a skin on the surface of the skin. These are covered with scales. The scales are two types. One is called cycloid scales. They are having cyclic ring-like structure. And a tenoid scales having uh, flat uh, scales. So like that, these members having a skin is covered by either cycloid or tenoid scales. It is the one of the another important character of Ostrichthys members. One more important feature related to Ostrichthys. Inside of their body, it consists of air bladder. So this air bladder which is present in their body 
helpful to float the fishes and helps in buoyancy these members having heart with two chambers in this two chambers one is called auricle another one is called ventricle presence of a two chambered heart is a fundamental character of fishes these are also called as a cold blooded animals called pyclothermus they not have ability to regulate their body temperature and how much temperature is there in their surroundings same temperature will be maintained even inside of their body such animals are called as pyclothermus animals having cold blood during reproduction especially during sexual reproduction all these ostrichthys members have both male and female individuals separately at the time of sexual reproduction so male and female individuals they release their gametes to outside of their body so whenever both male and female individuals release their gametes to outside of their body the process of fertilization take place outside of their body is called external fertilization after this external fertilization the zygote it becomes into ovi or egg these are oviparous animals and these uh, eggs will directly becomes into egg one without larval stage are called as direct development so fertilization process take place external and all these uh, ostrichthys members are oviparous in nature and the process of development take place directly without larval stage these are the main important characteristic features of all ostrichthys members thanks for watching